from sad to blue. Hi, it's Dr. Ruth, the pain doc, founder of Chronic Pain Rescue, a telehealth practice devoted to helping those who suffer from chronic pain to go from living with chronic pain to living pain free and using holistic and integrative practices to do so to get there. Now, I think on the surface, the topic today might seem like I'm off track from sad to blue, sad being the standard American diet, which is sad, to blue, where there are blue zones in the world known for longevity. Most of the people live, many of the people live to be 100, many live to be in their 90s. They have less illness. They live vital lives with vitality and strength long into their older years and enjoy their lives. But I want to under, people to understand that this is not actually a deviation from chronic pain because as we discuss and go through this, this topic, many of the practices that help you overall are going to help relieve your pain. You know, the problem that we have is our our system is not geared to for prevention. I want to say we don't have a good health care system. I know we have advanced technologies. We have amazing drugs. But the truth is, life expectancy in, in the United States, although we spend more per capita than most countries, most developed nations, we spent in, in 2021, we spent 17.8% of the gross uh, domestic product on health care alone. The only one that surpassed us in spending was Switzerland. And most developed nations, places like New Zealand and Australia, spend half of what we spend. And yet our life expectancy is less than most of the other developed nations. We come in last. Since 1980, our life expectancies as U.S. citizens has been gradually declining and with the COVID epidemic it only made that worse so we have more morbidity and mortality than other comparable nations even though we spend much much more on healthcare and I think like I say a good part of that is the fact that we are heavily bent on treatment than we are on prevention we really have a sick care system as opposed to a health care system. So what I'm presenting today is not really a deviation. Um, I wanted to share more about Blue Zones and about the book that my biologic father, Dr. Andre Joubert, wrote uh, before he passed away. It's called A Doctor's Advice to Keep You Out of His Office. And he was a practicing Seventh-day in Venice, the only blue zone in the United States recognized by those looking for blue zones is Loma Linda, California, which is an enclave of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. They apply biblical practices um, to health care, very, very important emphasis um, in their church from its foundations on health, things like a plant-based diet things like getting out in sunshine, uh, things like how you breathe, things like making sure you move, not necessarily getting to the gym, you know, and lifting weights and, you know, knocking it out in the gym, but even just something simple like gardening. If you enjoy gardening, doing what you enjoy, but moving, you know, a lot of the attributes or characteristics we think of as associated with aging studies show that it's not so much about aging as as it is about inactivity you know so a lot of the the slowness the the decay in terms of of um our bodies dementia weakness loss of balance just debility weakness has so much more to do with the fact that people are not moving than just that they're growing older you know my my thing is that we don't need to use anti-aging if you use that fine that's up to you but i know that anti-aging doesn't make sense if you took the opposite of aging that meant that means to die young nobody wants to do that so uh, and then to grow old gracefully gracefully i don't know what that means i certainly don't intend personally to just you know allow the 
the things that we associate with aging to just happen to me because I'm getting older. You know, I, I have a lot more life to live. And I definitely know that if I practice certain things, if I exercise, if I eat healthy, if I stay away from things that are bad for me, if I make sure I get enough sleep, I can enjoy more of my life. And it is about enjoying life, right? It's about loving the life that you live and living it as long as you can. So I invite you. I have had this book, uh, A Doctor's Advice to Keep You Out of Office. I've had it put into ebook form. And if you go to www.chronicpainrescue.com, you are able to uh, order a copy. It's $24.95. Um, if you'd like a paperback copy or also an ebook copy, we're also having it available for sale on amazon.com. So I definitely invite you. If you know other people, I think you'll make a great gift for anyone who who wants to, to transform their health, to do better, to, to, to live a healthier life. Um, I think there are things in this book that you're not going to see in the general mainstream and there, there are different reasons for that. You know, we, we do have a, a cash driven society and unfortunately, you know, things are, are based on who's making money from it. So some things are not necessarily promoted. There's nobody making money from that. D just to give you an example, we have all heard the term heart healthy diet heart healthy diet and unfortunately only those people who have heart disease or maybe if they have high blood pressure or the uh, people with heart disease are looking at heart healthy diets but listen we all have hearts we all should be eating a heart healthy diet not only that but if you already have a, a healthy heart, my goodness, many much of the things that's good for your heart is going to be good for the rest of you, you know? So so they, they've got us uh, tuned out to what's important, unfortunately, by habit, by culture. Um, we're, we're, we're kind of locked into things that aren't necessarily helpful to us, but we can transform. We can change a little bit at a time, a step at a time. This book would be a great beginning for you. So again... I invite you to purchase a book for yourself or a friend for a loved one, uh, a doctor's advice to keep you out of his office. Until next time, peace and blessings.